guys, JP from JP's Pet Nation. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Let me know how my Creature Nation and my pet army are doing downstairs in the comments. I love hearing from you beautiful people. In today's video, we're going to a rescue slash zoo slash wildlife park. This wildlife park slash rescue, um, they do a lot for the legal importing, basically, of exotic mammals. All the animals in here, from the lemurs and the primates to the exotic mammals like the genets, shoe gliders, and other ones without giving too much away, have all been rescued. Um, the raccoon dogs as well, which are now an invasive species. I'm going to be doing a video in the future on the raccoon dogs and how exotic they actually are. Look at this photo here, or this video here. Pretty cool little animal, right? All right, guys, with all that said, let's head over to the reptile room now and have a look at it. And well, let's have a look around the whole rescue and zoo. Let's go now. This is the inside area, as you can see. It's really nice. It's like the tropical house. Got lots of reptiles here, guys. Absolutely amazing little area. There's still a one-way system, obviously, because coronavirus, but it's pretty cool. Make your way down there, you'll see everything in there. Here's the, one of the monitor lizards here, enjoying his heat. And you see he's got a massive enclosure. Goes all the way over there, it's a massive enclosure. He looks like he's on his own in this massive enclosure, which is quite nice. These are a really big monitor lizard as well. And as you can see, he is looking very cool. A massive head, massive claws for climbing. And all the way down there, guys, that long tail, which is used to defend themselves. They're pretty cool. Let's have a look at the rest of the animals, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. Aquarium area, the in the area. You've got your snails down here. All these enclosures down here are full of uh, tarantulas. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to, let, I'm going to show you the enclosures. Let me know in the comments what you think about the enclosures and how they are as well. That'd be pretty cool. Um, in my own opinion, I'll be honest with you, they're not the best enclosures. But one good thing about these enclosures, guys, I'll be honest with you, um, they don't have water balls in there, thank God. And also, guys, let me show you all the tropical fish that I have here. I have loads and loads and loads of tanks here, guys. I'm not a fan of that blue light. It makes me look like I'm blue. Blue, blah, blah, blue. But let's um, have a look at all the animals. And look at this massive fish here, guys. I'm walking out. Look how big this is here. He is absolutely massive. Probably as big as my arm, if I'm honest with you. Absolutely huge. Massive, massive tank. Massive fish even. Not a massive tank, should I say sorry. Massive fish. So, yeah. With that said, um, let's um, have a look at all the aquariums. And look at all the tarantulas, and I'll see you in a minute.
How cool is this? This is the Vampire Crab um, set up. Got the water there and the land around them. Pretty, pretty cool. There's one of the Vampire Crabs there. There's probably several species in here from what, you, from what I can see. But it looks absolutely amazing. You see they've got the Vampire species here. And they are, they are very vulnerable in the wild. They are being overhunted and being just wasted in captivity for most of you. They don't do the best in captivity from my own experience of keeping them and breeding them. And they're pretty hard to breed, depending on the species of the vampire crab you keep. And these are obviously the astronauts here. These are massive. Sorry about the blue light, but these are massive, massive astronauts. Pretty, pretty sweet little creatures, but massive. This ain't really the best enclosure for them, if I'm honest with you because they do need a bit on the top to... Oh, it is nice and cool, which is quite nice. So I think they're cooling it as well. So obviously, Ascolotls do not do very good with heat. They need it nice and cool. They don't need it tropical like any other ones, because they come from places like Mexico in the wild, which is pretty cool. Absolutely amazing little um, animals. Very weird and very odd. Ascolotls are definitely well worth keeping if you are looking to keep an exotic pet. Easy to keep and pretty odd looking. Let's have a look at the rest of the animals. Then we're going to end the tour off guys by showing you the mud kips. These are mud skippers really, should I say. Uh, I can't really see them in here, I think these are smaller species. These are really, really, really rare to get a hold of at the moment in a hobby. I used to keep these myself, the giants. African ones, absolutely beautiful. But this stair enclosure here has got water down here because they need water. and got a bit of land there with sand on. And that's perfectly fine for them. They'll spend most of the time buried in the sand anyway. But that's pretty cool. Let's um, have a look around the rest of the zoo now guys. See what else there is to see. If not... Also, let me know in the comments about these enclosures, what you think about them. It's really important that you tell me how you, what you think about these trenchless guys. It's really important. But like I say, it's a really nice little aquarium here. And there's more around here as well. guys that was the zoo tour hopefully you liked it guys let me know in the comments downstairs what you thought about today's video i'm ever so sorry it's coming out on a tuesday instead of a monday normally i release videos every monday 2 p.m uk time but because i was on holiday um i've had to release it a day later which is fine let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite animal and tell me if there's any animal you want me to do another video on also let me know what you thought about them tarantulas it's a lovely place to go to i really enjoyed it there's a lot of exotic mammals there i love the exotic mammals i love the aquarium and there's so many primates there as well which is cool some of them lemurs are beautiful all right guys follow us on social media hit some of the videos that are popping up now and check out some of, some of our other videos we'll see you next monday 2 p.m uk time